Halloween is coming soon. So Pat Robertson did his annual warnings about it. And it's hilarious. Who says, every year I let my teenage son go with friends to a Halloween event at a local theme park. I just learned that they have a haunted house based on Satan and demons. Apparently there are girls in suggestive demon outfits selling drinks, techno music, and even a demon DJ who encourages people to dance. I know my son is a good boy and he will be disappointed if I don't let him go. How can I make him understand that keeping him away is the best thing for him? Well, you've got to tell him the truth. I mean, explain to him who the devil is. Is explain to him the devil wants to destroy you. The devil, you know, seeks who he may devour. He's out to kill you. Yeah. And he's going to put everything nice in your way that's going to seem like fun. There's pleasure in sin for a season. But the answer is, mother, don't let your babies grow up to be demon worshipers, if I can quote from Willie Nelson. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let them do it. I mean, you know, that's just the way it is. And you say, look, no, I'm sorry. Or better than that, there needs to be alternative Halloween celebrations in churches where they have all the games and all the fun and all the nice pretty girls and all the handsome boys and all that. They all come together and they're praising the Lord instead of worshiping Satan. But Halloween has become a night when the devil rejoices. This is a viewer who says, my husband's been playing an online game with other people and the game includes elements of witchcraft. He doesn't think it's bad, but since he started playing the game, my daughters and I have witnessed really weird things happening in our home. We've anointed the house. How do I pray for my husband and how do I convince him that he's bringing bad things into our home? He gets angry when I bring it up. Well, I think you need to get a, a senior person. Maybe you can find a minister or some trusted advisor to tell him this is a problem. There was a game called D D D Dragons and, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons that people got into. They got into role playing. The next thing you know, they were in a fantasy world that really uh, captured them. So it is demonic. Demons are out to destroy you. And your husband needs to understand that. That gets better and better every year. Guys, he does it every year. I'm not kidding. We've been doing this show full-time since, what, 2013 or so? So that's like four years? Every year, he's out there. <laughs> Halloween and the demon. Look out for the demon. He's coming to get you. <laughs> you got to make sure. We should, we should do an alternative <laughs> celebration where kids come to church. Yeah, Pat. I'm sure they're looking forward to that. Hey, instead of dressing up and eating candy and having fun, can we go to church, Mom? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay, look, back. I feel like you watched this back in the 1950s. I feel like some people watch this. And if, you're, if you believe enough, like if you were indoctrinated into religion when you were a kid and you're raised, you listen and you're like, oh, Halloween and the demons. Oh, no, it's bad. Dungeons and dragons. Oh, you don't want Satan to get in. So, like, you watch it and some people believe it. As time goes by, this shit just holds less and less and less. And you know what it is? The internet destroyed Pat Robertson. <laughs> when people were able to start Googling shit, it, his, his career was done. <laughs> because people were like, okay, mm, I don't know about that, son. Let's look that up. <laughs> so people look it up and they're like, oh, yeah. So, like, you make stuff up. That's what happens. That's what you do. You just make shit up. But the thing about Robertson that's so sad is, on some level, I don't know if it's conscious or not, to be fair to him, but it, it, maybe it's on a conscious level, maybe it's subconscious. But the reason why he can't help himself and he, like, just all the time goes after stuff like Dungeons and Dragons is he really does view it as cosmic competition. So, in other words, if you're a kid and you're, you just want to be a kid, so you want to play Pokemon all the time or you want to fucking play, play Dungeons and Dragons, you know, when I was young... Dungeons and Dragons is before my time, but when I was young, a lot of it was Magic the Gathering. You know, that still goes on today to a certain extent. There were the fantasy books, Harry Potter or shit like that. He views that as, oh no, oh no. Somebody else is trying to get their voodoo mythological nonsense, pump it into the kids' brains, and then that's going to take them away from Jesus. You got to get them back to Jesus. Satan and the demons and so bad. Stay away from the demons. It's so bad. But dude, you don't get it. Like, for people who are doing that today, nobody's fucking reading Harry Potter and going like, oh yeah. 
Dumbledore is, uh, I guess that's like the Virgin Mary. I don't know. By the way, is Dumbledore even a character in Harry Potter? It's been a long time since I had to read that shit. <laughs> a lot of Harry Potter fans are now mad at me. Uh, but, like, nobody, nobody's doing that. Nobody's fucking playing Mortal Kombat Annihilation. If anybody ever plays that anymore, <laughs> on whatever system there is now, and they're going, you know, I think Sub-Zero is a good model to live your life. You should look at him as like a father figure. <laughs> nobody does that, Pat! So, it's a case of thou doth protest too much, like, Halloween is demonic and the demons are coming and oh no, Dungeons and Dragons, oh, what are we gonna do? Lying the witch in the wardrobe in Narnia and the Teletubby is gay, stay away. So people look at you and go, oh, you're a silly person. You're a silly person. And again, for guys like Pat Robertson, somebody who's a right-wing fundamentalist, they don't get it. Like, the thing that initially attracted people and attracts people all over the world to religion is not you pumping the horseshit into their head. I mean, if you do it from when they're young enough, they'll believe it. But if for most, it's like, okay, you're sick, you're downtrodden, you're hurt, here's some food, here, let me help your family, here's some money, let me take care of you. I mean, people don't even realize that the Taliban, for example, people go, how can anybody fucking be on the side of the Taliban? Well, if you're in fucking rural Pakistan or Afghanistan and you're outside of the reaches of the government and the Taliban shows up once a week and gives you some bread or some shit, guess what? It's a package deal, bitch. So they'll give you the bread, but also, uh, you know, praise Allah, motherfucker. <laughs> so you gotta, this is how it works. This is how religions hook people in. But Pat lost, he lost his way a long time ago. He forgot that, oh, wait, so the way that we would hook people is actually care about the poor and care about the downtrodden and care about the sick and be decent people. He's like, skip over that part. Now, oh, the demons and Halloween and don't have fun and eat candy, you know, oh, don't, I don't know why. Why y'all playing Dungeons and Dragons? We should create our own game. Jesus and Saints or something. Y'all want to play that, right? 